Hey everybody, my name is Kristana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. This is Rupert. Say hi. This is Rupert, my baby Puggle. He is five months old and he is my new little partner in crime. I do also have Stanley. So today I am going to do a little bit of experimenting. I want to take a non-pigmented milk paint by Sweet Pickens and I'm going to add some neon pigments to it and see what we can create back here. So I moved here from Germany, so I now live in Maine and my husband retired after 20 years in the Air Force and we moved about five months ago and it's been super tough to really just get ourselves going again. We lost Cannon, my dog, um, you know, transitioning into a new job, transitioning into a new area. It's been a little bit tough and I've found that my creativity has kind of been on a lull and I am aware that this piece is probably something that people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you painted that. But I'm gonna experiment and get colorful and I really think I'm gonna use some art therapy in this piece to really just try to remotivate myself to get back. So I know that if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I've been a little MIA lately and I apologize. It's just been a huge transition, and so hopefully this piece can really kickstart my creativity and get it back. We are gonna be using some milk paint, some pigments. I'm gonna be using some flexi wood molding, and we're gonna add some moldings onto here. And I'm just going to do my thing, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you wanna see that, stay here. Say hi, Rubens. Say hi. <laughs> He's the cutest. Don't you know you're the cutest? Loving you, Hi, baby. And Rupert's gonna be here to help me. Right, bud? Yes, I am. All right, stay here. The first thing I did was clean this piece really, really well. I am gonna be doing a bunch of layering and things like that. And so we wanna make sure that the paint sticks to the surface. I wanted to add a little bit of character because this piece is so plain and so I'm using flexi wood moldings. What you do is you heat them with a hair dryer or a heat gun and they'll be flexible and you can put them on your pieces to just add some more character on there. And so I'm heating it up so I can unravel it because when it's not heated it is hard and so if you try to unravel it you'll break it. So you want to make sure you heat it up first. And what I do is I like to heat it all up and then place it where I want it. Then I tape it in place and then I go back and I put wood glue on there. And after I put the wood glue on, I stick it in place while I heat it one more time, push it against the surface and tape it. And then that will allow it to stick on your piece. I allow it to sit for a few hours before I go in and paint it though.
This is what it looks like after I had added all the moldings. It is the same process no matter what it is, whether it's a border or a medallion. And then I allow it to sit for a few hours and I'm gonna go in and do a base coat with Paint Couture's color Dark Sea. Paint Couture paint is an all-in-one paint. It has a built-in primer, it has a built-in top coat, and I really like to use this as a base coat for when I'm doing layering and things like that because I know that's a solid base for my milk paint and my clay paint to go over. So that way it can expose some of the mineral paint colors like the Paint Couture paint underneath everything. When I first started this business about eight years ago, I used to use milk paint all the time and I love it. And Sweet Pickens is actually one of my favorite brands to use. And so I wanted to try the new neon pigments mixed with Sweet Pickens milk paint that has no pigment to see what would happen because I thought what would be cooler than having some neon milk paint. So I took a little food processor and I'm putting the milk paint which is in powder form and I'm mixing the pigment in and then I'm going to use the food processor to mix it. So this is their purple color and so I mix it the first time and then if I want more pigment in there I just add a little bit more to make it more potent. Obviously you see me hitting the food processor to get it mixed but you can see how it has now made a purple milk paint and i'm going to add a little bit more pigment because i want it to be more neon like and then now we have some neon milk paint With milk paint, it is a one for one ratio, okay? So I'm very well aware of the fact that mixing or measuring dry and measuring liquid is different, but you wanna just put the exact same amount of water as you put paint. So I am just using my little, I think it's like a third of a cup and I'm pouring the powder in there and then you're gonna put warm water and then you're going to mix it. I have a little tiny whisker, you can whisk it. You can also put it in a food processor as well and you wanna allow it to sit for about 10 minutes. After hand mixing it, I will say that I think using a food processor does mix it a little bit better, but either way will work. And so I mix it, I allow it to sit for about five to 10 minutes to really just kind of thicken up and then you go ahead and you paint it on your surface. And so that is what I'm doing. I am painting this color. So you need to trust the process because there's gonna be a ton of layering going on. Once each layer is dry, I go in with another color. So this one is the Sweet Pickens Milk Paint with no pigment mixed with Lemon Squeeze pigment. And I'm just gonna randomly place this in different areas and go over where the dark areas of the Paint Couture paint is. And so it's gonna look a little bit crazy before we start getting there, but we're gonna do the Lemon Squeeze and then I'm going to put a color called Plum Crazy mixed with the Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. And then I am also going to use the dragon fruit color as well. So you're gonna see me layering these in the next few scenes.
once all the layers are totally dry, I am going to go in with some DIY paint, which you can see I started doing over to the left hand side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this as another layer and I'm going to blend it. So the first color I'm gonna use is blue iris and I'm gonna add that up to the corners. And then what I'm going to do is layer over it with mermaid tail. And then I'm gonna layer over it with water lily. And then you're gonna see me use my Cristana brush, which is a blending brush that I like to use. And I'm going to do a final blend with all of them. But then I am going to mist it with water after I've blended it and take that same brush and put more pressure and pull it. So that way I'm almost doing a wash and I'm watering down the DIY paint so that you can see the pinks and the yellows coming through so you can really see all the layers. Okay, so this is where I'm going to mist the entire area and I'm going to take my blending brush that I told you about and I'm gonna go horizontal, I'm gonna go vertical because I wanna work all of these colors together. But then what I'm going to do is do a little bit more pressure while I'm wiping that brush off with a paper towel so that I can pull more of that paint off to where you can see the colors underneath, the milk paint colors underneath. Now I am just going below and blending some more colors. So I'm using DIY's paint kissing booth and I'm gonna add that in some areas. And then I'm going to add cowgirl coral. I do use a few other colors, liquid sunshine, and I can put those all in the description below. But basically the concept of the entire thing is the same. You wanna pick colors, you want them to blend into the color next to it. And then you wanna take that brush or a brush and you want to put more pressure to pull back so that you can see the colors underneath like you just saw me do with the blues on the top. I'm gonna show you a few distressing techniques. So this is wet distressing. I am going to take a microfiber cloth and get it wet. And then I'm going to rub on those areas to expose the pink underneath that medallion. And then I wanna show you how I get a sort of chippy look. So a lot of times milk paint will chip on its own, but if it doesn't, you can also take tape. So this is just painter's tape and I burnish it on there and I pull it off really fast. And you're gonna see how it gives it a more authentic kind of chipped look. And so that's one of the ways that I like to distress as well, especially when I'm using milk paint. And so wet distressing, using that, you could sand if you wanted to, but I didn't with this piece. And then one of the final things I'm going to do is take Paint Couture's 
pigment medium and I'm going to mix dragon fruit pigment and I'm going to take an artist brush and put it in all the little cracks and crevices. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it on there with the paintbrush and then I'm going to take a wet microfiber cloth so that I can wipe back so that the pigment is only left in that little crack instead of in more of an area. And that is really all I did with this piece. I did end up sealing it completely with wax which i didn't show you guys but this is the part where i take that paintbrush and i do that and then again i just wipe back so that any of the area that's left on the lip will be pulled off with the wet microfiber cloth i am still getting in the swing of things so i apologize for not doing an outro video but here are the staged photos of this piece afterwards i hope you guys enjoyed this this piece is now in my house in my entryway i have taken quite a bit of time off for myself but this piece has really helped rejuvenate me and i hope if you guys are needing a break or wanting to just create for yourself that you do because there's definitely power in just taking care of yourself and creating art for your own happiness. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty